right, day 10 up at the point. So the last few days we've been taking it easy, doing a bit of trawling and it's been pretty bloody productive. We've got that good fin and then we've got a crack of wahoo, so we're absolutely stoked with that. We've been doing a bit of diving, but it's been hard work. Um, most of the fish have been small, nothing huge to write home about. Al's been getting into a few crays, so that's been great. Uh, but yeah, basically everything that I've speared hasn't been, uh, hasn't been the biggest, so nothing to write home about. Um, we've had a few rough days of weather, the wind's been absolutely howling southerly. But today it's looking a bit better. Um, it's a bit of a drop, a bit of a window there. So we're going to send it out wide and uh, chase some reds and hopefully get into a few. But uh, how's that backdrop? Serenity levels are high. Let's do it. Stolen out the electric. The big dog, bros. Big dog. Now the dogs and we're laughing. No chance. <laughs> Is it a big bite? Big bite. Yeah. on the bait. He yeah, never gets on the bait. No, he doesn't. He hates it. I hate the bait. Yeah. I'm really happy with that baldy, eh? I'm really happy with that baldy, yeah. That is a good one. Yeah, if you're going to catch a baldy, that's what you want. That's you what know? you want, yeah. Put up a good fight too, man. Singing, boy, got a red dog. The boys are on the fish. Baby red and a nice baldy, and another nice baldy before that. Been a slow few days. Finally got out wide in the 100 meter mark and got bit. Yeah, boy. Skips on the bait, which is a rare occasion. I was on the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. That's what it's looking like when we're rolling over it. Right on the fish now. 
nibbles straight away on that jig. Oh, that's always good, isn't it? Yeah. Gives you a bit of confidence, doesn't it? You're about to get bit any second away. That bit nibs. Ooh. Yeah, right. This is what was happening with this jig at Barrel, eh? They just... Oh. Sometimes it's hard when you're dropping it and you're getting the bite. It's hard to set the hooks, you yeah. know? Semi-decent. Or in 99 metres. Bit of ground over the sounder now. Yes? Slow. Red emperor, bro. Red. Red emperor, brother. No, it's not. It's a coral trout. Oh, be careful. That's only just hooked. Coronation. Yeah, boy. Well done, brother. Well done. Yeah, the boys. On the Vex, due slow. That was the jig I was using. Working it slow, quiet day. Boom. Boys, crack a coronation trout on the Vex, due slow. 220 grams, 99 meters of water. Went quiet for a while, wind changed direction, fish went off the chew, shifted a mark, and boom. Probably the biggest. Oh, back Probably the biggest coronation I've caught myself. A PB. Kids, if Pretty you want to take a lazy day. Mm -hmm. Wife, you want me to me take a break. I keep going to the paper straight. Mm -hmm. Then it's trips up to Montego Bay. If I take the job, bet I get it done. I said it before, I'm a one of one. I just caught some ones, only wearing ones. Wanna kick the funds, money made me come. So that's the sort of ground we're looking at. 99.3 meters. Little flares, little patches of ground. Grind it over them one by one. Oh, what did the rod holders got under control? Yeah. Oh, donkey. Big dog. Oh, reef up. Nah, I think it might have been a shark, eh? Hang it up with you, baby. Oh, brother. Oi. What a coronation. Oh, shit. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, shit. Boys are on the trout anyway, brother. What? The boys picking up another coro. Found the trout hole. Salute trout hole. It was on the electric. He got skull dragged up in the rod holder. He's not really that happy about it, but uh, welcome to the aftermath, baby. Good us. <laughs> Day's work at the Steep Point office. Couple of reds, couple of coros. Boys just singing. This patters, as they say.
night, absolute cracker day, cracker day. We went out wide, fishing at 100 meter mark pretty much all day. And uh, we got a really good mixed bag. So I did a mixture, fished a bit of bait and a bit of jigging. Got that good trout on the jig, so super happy with that. And uh, finally, we actually got a good weather day. So absolutely stoked. Uh, it was really nice out there. We tra trawled some um, skirt after that for some marlin, but uh, it was a no-go. We didn't get a bite. But uh, man, how magic is this? Back in, the fish is clean. We're about ready to cook a feed and get some rest and do it all again tomorrow. We've got another good day tomorrow. The weather should be good. So um, yeah, no plans yet. We'll just see where it takes us and see what happens.